sal sau rog, s-a încheiat, s-a mai încheiat, a cate s-a mai nimicat, s-a mai revomat, s-a mai familiat, a ajutat sumele, a ajutat s-a ogrit, a nevoie mai repis a romani, a mai rog cousin o tam tam, de pe show o a cate a ne United Nations a ajutat s-a răzgumit s-a We're here to help the Roma to better their lives, to stop the pain and the suffering. Jutisara and Shavali, so we can achieve this goal. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. My name is Thomas Kniff, and I'm running for New York County District Attorney. You know, I it was through the course of my career as a defense attorney where I first got to befriend the Rabani people, and when I got to earn their friendship. And I got to see a people that really are often living in the shadows. A lot of people in America don't even know that we have Romani in this country. Um, and, and the thought that in any place, uh, that any country, any society is tolerating oppression is, is unacceptable. It, the, the, the rule of law is best judged by what it does for the least among us, what it does for the people who are less, the least obvious, the people who have the least rights, the least resources, the least money. If, if, if you want it in the least political cloud, if you want to judge a, a, the success of the legal system, look not what it does for the people living in the ivory towers, but what it does for the people that we don't see. And, and, and when, when, there is, when there is a attack on the rule of law, when there is attack on human rights, if it affects one of us, it affects all of us. So I'm calling upon everyone to stand up and stand up for the rights of the Roma people. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. When I went to law school and learned to make speeches, all the other students would often ask me, what are you spending so much time with the G word? And I would say, I care for my darker brothers and sisters. And if you wonder why, I ask my mother who gave me the blood we share. It was like telling them that I'd stepped off a rocket ship from Mars. The fact of the matter is, when you have 140,000 people displaced in Kosovo to rape and murder, their homes burn, the fact that this isn't front page news is obscene. We're going to the Kosovo Mission now to present a letter that's being presented by so many people around the world to tell the world that these days are not going to happen again without us making noise. The American companies that are now purchasing land stolen from Romani people in Kosovo, we're going to make those names known. This will not happen in the dark anymore.